Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. Ucraft is an up and coming website builder that started up in the country of Armenia in the last few years. It's not as well known as the big website builders like Squarespace, Weebly, and Wix. It's pretty amazing to see these new companies trying to take on this massive competition in the website builder market. And that's one reason I like to check out these new website builders. And they did reach out to me and uh, asked me to take a look at it. And uh, it was interesting enough to add this review to my uh, YouTube channel. So let's see how it's trying to compete in the website builder market. They do currently offer a 14 day free trial. And after you create an account, you start the process by choosing from several templates. And these templates remind me of Squarespace templates. They look really modern and nice, but they will be dependent on high quality images. So after you choose your template, you will be taken to this main builder here, which has like the main um, kind of canvas builder area on the, most of the screen here, as you can see. And then on the left, there is a toolbar. Um, so it's a nice clean interface. I like that. Um, the preview is just a way to preview your site. And I open that in a new tab. It just shows me my site live as it will look in a browser. And then I have the ability to switch between mobile, tablet, and desktop views. One thing I noticed, and you'll probably notice as I go through the builder quickly, I haven't found anything about creating a mobile version of the site. So I'm not sure if I'm missing it, but normally most builders will have the option to toggle between the different versions of the site, uh, mobile, tablet, and desktop while you're building it, similar to the preview here. But I have not seen that yet in the builder. Maybe we'll see that as we go through. Uh, the next link in the toolbar is dashboard. And that has a number of items here. The first one is pages, and I won't go through all these, but this is where you manage uh, your pages and create new ones. Uh, designer tools is similar to like the theme customizer in uh, WordPress, where uh, here you can change all the styles, you know, fonts, uh, colors, and these styles will then uh, you know go throughout your entire site. So it's a good way to change the look of your entire site. Looks like you can change the buttons in here change how the fields look on forms and it looks like you can mess around with the layout like spacing distant distance between elements so that's a nice feature there that's called that's designer tools media probably has all your uh, images maybe videos too SEO and domain settings there's team settings which probably allows you to add other users invite members there's a logo maker there's site settings, articles, which is like your blog. Integrations, here's several integrations they have. Languages, fonts, there's only a few fonts. Oh, here's a font library, so they probably have all the Google web fonts. Customers, so that, and e-commerce. So these are the two e-commerce uh, parts of the builder. I don't think I'm gonna cover e-commerce I would need to upgrade uh, I'm just doing a 14 day trial of one of the versions I think it's pro which does not have e-commerce but here's what that looks like just give you a quick look at it so that's the dashboard so let's go back to the main builder so if I scroll around you can see these different colored sections are popping up so just to give you a rough idea there's blocks these bars pop up that allow me to drag different elements. This looks like it's just a header. And so if I click that, there's header settings. And then there's different elements, which each have their own styles, settings. So this is a button with its own settings. And you'll notice these little FX icons in each, uh, with each element or most of these elements. And these are for uh, adding different uh, fade elements or animation. So if you go back to my preview, if I refresh that and then scroll down the page, you're going to see these uh, different animations. So most website builders have that now, the, the ability to create these animations, but it definitely gives your gives uh, your site some, some movement and some liveliness. I'm not sure how you edit them. I can delete it. 
So as, as with most website builders, you do have to click around for a while. There's a bit of a learning curve. Like I can't figure out how to edit these um, effects right here. I did notice in clicking around that there's visibility settings. So that's one way to change your um, the mobile version. You can hide certain elements on mobile, for example, by unchecking this. But then you'd have to go to preview to go see what it looks like. So you can't edit the mobile version live as far as I can tell. So once you figure out all these buttons and what everything does, they do make it pretty easy to change the layout of your site. You can see I can drag out margins pretty easily and just move things around and place them on the page. So you won't have to worry about dealing with code in order to get the look that you want, but there is, again, a bit of a learning curve to figure out how all this works. And I did just notice there is an effects icon in the main toolbar on the left here. So if I click on that, they give me some options. So like if I select this button and then click on effects, Oh, it looks like I drag it to an element. Okay, so drag it to that. And now there's an effect on it. So let me see if I can drag an effect to this item here. No, that's a background image. So yeah, that's how you do the effects. And then you have to preview them to see if it's working the way you want. So they have, uh, you know, about 10 or 11 effects here. So going back to the main toolbar, the next section is blocks. And these appear to be like pre-made blocks and then you can create your own or maybe save your own. So like this whole section is a block here. So there, I can add the background, I can save as a block. So if I hit save, it's probably gonna go into my blocks. Oh no, I got upgrade for that. But yeah, that's how you would do it. So you can save blocks and use them elsewhere, which is a nice, function and then there is there are these pre-made blocks so I could probably drag these to a section which is a nice feature because you can take advantage of some of the design elements they've created I'm gonna delete that one so those are blocks so they have several pre-made blocks in different categories the next section is elements and this is where you're gonna add all the different elements to your page. Obviously I'm working with a template that's pre-made so I can edit it and then I can add new elements. So they have image, image slider, gallery, titles and paragraphs, videos, icon, logo, buttons, user account. So if I was just to drag a paragraph out here, I can kind of move it around, drop it where I want and then the, the area where I'm putting it gets highlighted so you have different options I could put at the top if I was to drop it here in between these elements it would go right here so I can change the text they give you a lot of text uh, text toolbar here so going back to elements there's also breadcrumbs page navigation Contact form, subscription form. Let's see what that looks like. Just curious if it has any integrations. It might have its own newsletter built into this website builder. I'm not sure. Got some e commerce elements like cart categories. I'm not going to cover the e commerce too much here. Some blog elements, articles article categories and related articles, some social elements like sharing buttons and follow icons. And then here's a bunch of integrations I showed you earlier. And then miscellaneous like accordion, countdown, language switcher, quotes, blank space, search, etc. If I click on colors, this, this looks to be just a color palette. So similar to the effects, I think we just drag these to an element. Yeah, and it'll change the color. That's interesting. Okay. So you can still change colors. Like if I wanted to change this text color, I could double click it, go to the color on the toolbar, and I could pick any color I want, but it is showing me recent colors. Um, and then I think this is kind of like a palette you can select so that these colors show up elsewhere in the builder just to kind of speed up the building process. So that's a quick overview of the entire website builder. I obviously didn't get into all the details, 
of everything they offer, but it looks pretty good to me. I think there's a learning curve in trying to figure out the um, how the builder works in you know dragging out all these different spacings and sections, so that'll take some getting used to. I guess the big question I would have is what does it have that is better than some of the other website builders out there like Squarespace, Weebly, and Wix that are pretty big and you know have a lot of development that's gone into them. So for these newer website builders to take them on, they would need to offer something better. I don't see any major issues with this website builder except, like I mentioned, it doesn't seem very easy to manage your mobile website, which is obviously very important and just getting more important as uh, the mobile use gets more prevalent. I think you know more than 50, 60 percent of traffic for most websites is mobile. So any website builder should give you good access to, to manage the mobile site even more so than the desktop site. And I'm not seeing that on here except for being able to hide elements. I do want to give you a quick look at pricing. So let me go back to their homepage and show you the pricing. I was using a free trial of the pro website. So they do have a free website which uh, you wouldn't be able to use your own custom domain. And then the pro starts at 10 bucks a month, $21 a month for pro shop. And then big commerce is $39 a month. So just looking real quick at the differences, you do get 50 products with the pro website. And it looks like with the higher level plans, you just get more e-commerce options like tax exemption, a thousand products, unlimited products on the highest plan. So the pricing doesn't look real different from what you might get from Squarespace, Wix, and Weebly. Um, so yeah, the big question to me is uh, what does it have that's better than those? Um, but it does look like a pretty good website builder as you can see as I was going through it there. So I hope that helps those of you who are considering this UCraft website builder. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask in the comments. And if you have some experience with it, uh, please share your experience so that other people can uh, learn from your experience. Check out some of my other reviews I've done on website builders, and we'll see you on the next one.